Hey guys, welcome back. In the last session, we learned how to serialize and deserialize BST and binary tree. Today, we are going to learn how to serialize and deserialize an array tree. Okay. In the binary tree approach, we used DFS pre-order traversal and we serialized and also we used the same technique pre-order traversal to deserialize there. Okay. In binary tree, each node can have max two node, two children. But in the n array tree case, any node can have n number of children. Okay, I have written the same code what we used last time to serialize and deserialize binary tree. Let's fix this code to solve the n array problem. You can see that the tree node has left and right child because it was a binary tree. Let's now change it to a n array tree. So in that case, I will write list of tree node children right yeah so in that case i will write list of tree node and let's call it children okay. let's initialize the children with an empty array list okay yeah. now let's now let's modify the serialize method in the case of n array tree what we can do we don't have left and right instead we have a children of size n right so in that case what we can do we can just you know write a for loop and in that for loop we will call the serialized method for all the children so let's do that okay yeah so for i equal to 0 i less than children dot size and remove the right and instead of left i can write children dot get of i i being the index right while deserializing we knew that we had to read two uh, string to deserialize right one for the left node another for the right node but here in the n array tree we have to find a way to know how many children will i read for this particular node so to be able to know that the easiest way is to save the size of the children right okay so the next line that i will be writing is result plus equal to comma plus root dot children size okay good in the base case we will return a empty string instead of star now okay now let's go and fix the deserialize method okay deserialize method we don't need this star case anymore because we are not uh, saving star now that we have saved the size of the children so we need to you know read that size of the children immediately after reading the value of the node right so immediately after the uh, after reading the value i will read another string which will give me the number of children and now once i get the number of children i can start a for loop and in the for loop i can read and add those nodes as child to our children array right finally i can get rid of this another two line okay good now we are done with the deserialization method now let's go and change the stub so in this stub in this test method you can say or in the main method what i am doing i am actually serializing the tree first okay printing that string and after that i am deserializing it to get the tree back and from the tree again i am serializing it okay and if i am just checking if the first serialization method and the last serialization method they both return the same string okay then we can say that we have successfully serialized and deserialized the n array tree now let's run this code and see the result okay we got the result if you see the string the first value is 0 which is the first root node and the second value is 2 which means it has two children okay and after that the dfs starts both of the string contents are same which means we have successfully serialized and deserialized the n array tree okay that's it for today guys thanks for watching see you next time this is another version in this version we don't have to save the children's size for each node we can just save a marker or maybe you can say the end of the children's node right so that's why what I have done here after the for loop is over I'm just saving a star
saying that okay for this particular node this is the end of all the children right so in this way also we can serialize and we can deserialize like this